Each week, I spend some time thinking about what am I going to talk about during my podcast and, and during my, my video. This week was really easy uh, for the video because for the first time in four years, I actually went to the doctor. I got really sick. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the story about my getting sick and the five things, the five lessons that I learned. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what was the, the number one lesson I learned. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater, Nomad Jay. And yes, on Wednesday, I uh, woke up and I was uh, in sweat. I was wet. I was shaking like this. I took my temperature. I was 102. I lied in bed just fearing I was going to have to get up to go to the bathroom because it would be so cold. I took a shower and it hurt when I dried myself off. And I realized I was going to have to go to the doctor. Something was really wrong with me. I also had a little bit of discomfort urinating. So I thought, oh no, it could be the dreaded UTI, urinary tract infection, which I've had before. And that is real unpleasant. So I, uh, got, got, I've got a Kaiser policy and I figured out how to find a doctor and I talked to a nurse and then a doctor and they found a, an opening for me the same day um, over in Folsom, which is about a 40 minute drive. But I just felt so bad I had to get to the doctor. So I went to the doctor, um, checked in, um, they had me pee in a cup, I sat down, they took my, all my statistics, you know, and the doctor came in and I told him what was going on and then uh, the nurse or somebody brought in the piece of paper that had the results from the test and he goes, yeah, you have a UTI. So he said what he's going to do is give me a shot and then give me a 14 day antibiotic, uh, you know, regimen. <clears throat> so I said, great. So then I'm taken to another room and as the nurse leaves me there, <clears throat> she says, it's, it's a, she goes like this, it's a big needle. So they're going to put it in your butt. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't recall ever having that happen before. So then I'm waiting and now I'm thinking, oh, this is really going to hurt. And uh, so the woman, the, another, another nurse comes in with the big needle and it is fricking a big needle. And she says, okay, just put your leg on the chair, pull your pants down on one side and boom, you know, and it really wasn't that bad. It hurt more for about five minutes afterwards as I was walking around because it was like all kind of starting to move around in there, I guess. Um, and then I got myself back home, got back into bed, took my first two pills, and I still had two lousy nights, lousy nights. And then, um, then I started feeling better. And today is Monday. My temperature is normal. I went on my five mile walk. My energy's back. So uh, what did I learn from all of this? All right, let's get into it. Number one, clear all projects. So I've got this coach, this guy named Alex, and he's always saying clear all projects, meaning focus on one thing, you know, get everything off the, get, get, get uncluttered. And I've had a really hard time with that because I do a lot of different things. Well, when you're sick in bed for five days, there's not much you can do. So I was like forced to clear all things. I had to, I had to, I had to cancel appointments. I had to tell people that I was not going to be available for quite a while. And uh, it felt amazing to just unburden myself of all those things. And as a result, some of the things I'm going to share with you came from that. So Number two, boy, did I feel a love of life. You love life when you don't have it. And sitting in bed, sick, ugh, so cold, so miserable. And I just, re I was re reminded of not my nights in Bangkok where I was out late drinking tequila, dancing, you know, uh, it was, it was amazing. And, and when you're lying in bed, sitting in your own sweat, freezing, uh, you long, I longed for, for that. I, I, I have a new appreciation, a renewed appreciation for life. So number two, when you're sick, you really have a, a clarity about the uh, preciousness, the rare and precious nature of life. Number three, so you clear all the projects and then you see what bubbles up, right? <clears throat> so as I was lying in bed, um, I started to get this irritation with AT&T because when I went to uh, Bangkok, they charged me $10 a day for the international plan. And then I found out 
because my daughter's going to Argentina, I found out that there's a passport plan, which is for a month for $70. So I called them and I said, this wasn't fair. You should have told me about this passport plan instead of gouging me. They did nothing. I called twice, they did nothing. So I said, screw you. So I found a new company, it's called Visible. Instead of spending $140 with at and I'm now spending $40. That's it. Um, I've made the change and I felt so liberated. So that bubbled up. And then I made three other changes in services that I have coming in and I saved like $400 a month and I'm happy with all the changes. So it's just interesting. I never would have thought that that was gonna happen when I cleared all projects, but uh, it's interesting the things that, that bubbled up. Number four, I came to realize nothing's really all that important, right? So when you're, when you're in it, you think you're you know busy and get things done and deadlines and all of that. And when I was sick, I had to just cancel all of that. Nothing that important, you know? Uh, everything, life went on and uh, didn't miss a beat. Here I am back on Monday doing my normal stuff. You know, I recorded my podcast and I'm doing my video. And uh, it, it uh, so I guess my perspective shifted quite a bit uh, by being sick. And number five, probably the biggest discovery was the uh, there was no FOMO. FOMO, fear of missing out. So I'm sitting there for five days in my bed and here I am on Monday and what did I miss? I missed nothing. In fact, I had these great discoveries while I was sick. You know, I got to just lie there and do nothing. I got to take care of some of my financial stuff. I got some real clarity about my business. I mean, all these, all these great little things bubbled up and uh, what did I miss? You know, the coronavirus is still here, still getting strong. You know, it's Biden versus uh, uh, Bernie Sanders, okay, that's gonna happen. And you know, so what? So I, I, uh, I, I realized that there's nothing to have a fear about missing, right? Nothing is that important. No FOMO here. Uh, what I'm doing right here, right now is great. I'm just thrilled to be healthy and uh, can't wait to just, just get out in the world and, and keep creating. So. That's it, guys. Uh, thanks for spending some time with me. I hope you learned some uh, lessons from listening to my lessons of what I learned uh, from the dreaded UTI, uh, which uh, just flattened me out big time over the last week. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. I do this video once a week, every single week. And uh, I do my best to bring you the best from wherever I am in the world traveling around, all right? Y'all gotta have a great day. Be safe out there. This is Jay Creator Nomad Jay saying, see you later.